So if you remember in our last video, uh, when we were um, doing the network installation, Windows 10 installation over the network using the Pixie Boot server, uh, we got this globe over here and basically no internet. When we tried to go online and open a web page uh, like YouTube, it said no internet. Today we're gonna try to fix it and see what's going on. Uh, you see it says not connected you try to troubleshoot it it will try to fix it and a network cable is not properly plugged in or may be broken so basically there's something wrong with the network uh, the cable and <coughs> Ethernet we can change adopter set option we can disable it and then enable it and see if that works it still says the red cross <coughs> that day I was trying to run the CMD and it would not uh, oh today it worked IP config there's no e I address address IP4 v, uh, IPv4 address because it says the network cable is not connected so it got to be something here the virtual switch manager uh, before we go and if you remember uh, everything is grayed out we cannot change any setting see uh, actually this one we can mm. I don't know mess with it with the windows uh, and this one is running so I'm going to shut it down shut down and then I'm gonna change it so I had installed a virtual switch new one uh, normally it's the default uh, we can try that but let's go and see uh, the virtual switch manager and what's going on if you want uh, just in case if you want to add a new one you can always do so from here uh, create a virtual switch so all you have to do is click on this virtual switch manager and the first thing option is already selected so you can create one through here um, you see it's already it created another one I'm gonna remove it because I don't need it I already have one so oh, okay this could be the issue it's saying Intel wireless AC and over there we saw it was the cable so we can gigabit network connection and see if that fixes the issue it just an message saying that uh, your network connectivity may be affected let's run it again and this one is just basic few checkpoint uh, I think it saves the state the lost state so if something goes wrong and you have corrupted your virtual machine you can revert back to the lost saved one <coughs> um, this uh, test machine unlike this uh, first test machine is giving me uh, by default the local uh, account and I think that is because uh, the license on this one is expired but on this one I still uh, on this one I still have like 65 days something like that all right so let's go here click on enter the password <coughs> and see if uh, we get that tiny monitor over here and the monitor is there network 6 internet access uh, let's make sure that we have internet actually okay I s noticed something else too we have internet and you see here this is test 2 and I got say uh, I was saying 65 so I have 67 days I have 67 days here as well so basically this machine was not connecting to internet and that's why we were getting this copy of Windows has expired and I thought that maybe it's because we were copying this uh, 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 image over and over and Windows uh, for some reason Windows Microsoft does not like it but basically it was because this machine was not able to go online and check how many days uh, it has left so that's why it was saying this copy of Windows 
uh, it's expired but as soon as I got the internet uh, it went online checked the um, I think check server for the time remaining on this license and it's giving me the correct days uh, just to be sure I can run the test one the original test machine and show you that <coughs> that is the case like uh, exact same seven days uh, 67 days <coughs> and over here this machine is still connected to our domain so it's giving me the uh, domain login let's see password is wrong all right let's go here and click on sign out and see if we are able to join the domain network 7 still there so we have internet and 67 days right there and for some reason I never changed the desktop background backgrounds Click this one. Go with it. Yep. I'll go this one. <coughs> and over here, let's see if we can join the domain. That is this slash um, Trump and enter the password. And we are able to join the domain as well on. Uh, um, the test two machine <laughs> so this is how you fix the uh, network connectivity problem I still have to figure out why it's incrementing the networks each time it gets connected uh, but uh, you see we are connected same good days right there right there and stay next time and all that uh, this one the, did not load the audio software I don't want to diagnose it but that's how you do it that's uh, it's just to fix how the internet uh, uh, if your virtual machine is not connecting to the internet it has no internet you just go and change these settings here uh, for the, for default oh I see it's uh, internal network here and over there it says external network all right yeah so just play around here uh, go with the mm, default one but if you have your own you can use that all right, so let's shut them down and this is how you fix it.